welcome to Pilot Partner, the best idea in years for organizing your flight time. In this episode, we'll cover the basics of adding new flights to Pilot Partner. Once you log into Pilot Partner, you'll find yourself here at the Logbook Dashboard. Begin adding a new flight by sliding your cursor to the left and choosing Logbook from the Pilot Partner menu. Then choose Add Flight. The page defaults to the current date, so if you flew on a different day, choose the correct one from the calendar. Next, move the cursor to the right and type in the tail number of the aircraft you flew in the aircraft box. Don't forget, all U.S. aircraft must be logged beginning with the letter N for November. As you try to leave this field once the number's added, you'll see a pop-up box asking if you'd like to register the tail number. Click Yes. Pilot Partner automatically searches the FAA's database and pulls down any additional registration information. As you move down the page, you can toggle some properties on or off, like complex, high performance, or tailwheel time if they apply. When you're finished, click Add Aircraft. With Pilot Partner, you only register an aircraft's tail number once. The next time you fly this airplane, simply select that tail number from the handy drop-down menu. Now move up to the total time box and add the flight time digits, uh, before moving down to the route of flight. Most U.S. airports begin with the letter K first, as in KPIA for Peoria, or KADS for Addison. Some smaller fields use different identifier schemes, though, so choose whatever is appropriate for your flight. I'm going to add the route from Chicago Executive Airport, KPWK, on a round-robin trip out west and then northeast over flying a few airports before returning. So in the route of flight, type KPWK, then hit the space bar once before adding the second airport. On this trip, I departed PWK direct to RFD, Rockford, Illinois, then on to KMWC, Milwaukee Timberman, and back to PWK. If you added each airport correctly, the box turns blue after hitting the spacebar. That means the system's ready for the next entry. Now move to Flight Categories and select whatever's appropriate there. Pilot and Command, Dual Received, or Cross Country. Let's take a look at flight activities. Here's where you can add the number of full stop or touch and go landings. Now don't forget to select day or night for this data because Pilot Partner uses these selections to calculate your currency. As you move down the list, you'll see a pair of double arrows on the right. Click either and you'll apply the total flight time to that activity or choose the circular arrow to zero things out. Using the up arrow on the right side of the red bar allows you to hide items that you don't often use. If you drop down just a bit, you can add the passenger names or remarks about the flight, like the last time you broke the sound barrier. Okay, m maybe not. When you finished entering the data, click Save. This takes you back to the summary screen where you can add images or even upload a brief story to your own pilot partner blog. Well, that about does it for this session on adding new flights. Remember, if you get stuck anywhere along the line, just drop Pilot Partner support an email at support at pilotpartner.net and we'll get right back to you. And don't forget to tell your friends about Pilot Partner, the best idea in years for organizing your flight time.